Have you heard? CompTIA has released a new Security Plus exam, and we're gonna tell you all about it. Stay tuned. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. We'd like to take a few moments and we're excited to announce that yes, CompTIA has released a new set of exam objectives for a long time certification exam that they've had, and that is Security Plus. It was released, the new exam objectives, on November 12th of 2020. And upon a passing, uh, you know, a passing score within this exam, some of the knowledge base and the skills that it validates are, for instance, assessing the security posture of a enterprise and corporate environment. Now, not only being able to assess uh, the security posture, also being able to recommend and implement the appropriate security solutions. Now, one of the things that's also going to be um, a, a requirement and validation uh, between passing this exam are some of these newer hybrid environments. So being able to monitor and secure hybrid uh, environments such as cloud uh, with the prevalence of cloud, mobile, and IoT technologies, there's a greater focus on that that hasn't been uh, in the exam objectives in the past. Now, that's not the only thing that you're going to validate when you pass the Security Plus exam. You'll also be able to validate skills like operating with an awareness of applicable laws uh, and policies. And specifically, when it comes to things like the principles of government uh, governance, risk, we'll talk a lot about risk management, risk assessments, uh, and talk and discuss about the concepts, but validating those skills when you pass this exam as well. And then finally, we'll look at when it comes to laws, uh, compliance standards. Again, there is a big requirement today in cybersecurity to making sure that the, uh, the security professional is aware of these three different areas. So it will validate those skills when you pass this exam. Other things is to analyze, uh, identify, if you will, uh, and respond to security incidents and events. Now, you might be asking yourself, what are the exam details? What do we need to know when it comes to the format and uh, the name of the exam? So let's go ahead and take a little bit of time to look at that too. The exam code that you can expect to see is a slight changing from the last one. Uh, the former or prior exam was SY0501. Well, the new exam objectives, uh, the exam code, if you will, when you take uh, this exam, is going to be SY0601. Uh, there is going to be a maximum of 90 questions, as well as a uh, being multiple choice or performance based. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is the duration of this exam? Well, the duration of the exam is going to be 90 minutes. So 90 questions, multiple choice, performance-based questions. Performance-based question could be things like simulations and drag and drops, maybe a graph that requires you to pull down a couple of drop-down menus and configure it. So just not text-based questions. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, some of the other exam uh, details that you need to be aware of is the recommended experience. Now, before I tell you what the recommended experience is, I don't want anybody out there that maybe doesn't have this experience to be disheartened or maybe swayed against not taking this and sitting this exam. You can backfill it with hands-on lab experience. So keep in mind that this is the recommended it certainly isn't the requirement. Uh, and that's two years of work experience. And when we say work experience, not just general work experience, right? We're talking about in IT systems administration with more of a focus on security. You'll also have to have a, a fair amount of hands-on technical information, right? When it comes to your security experience. And again, like I said, this can be something that if you don't have, can be backfilled by uh, hands-on labs. Uh, so keep in mind, recommended experience not required, but you will be required to have a broad knowledge of security concepts. So uh, keep in mind, recommended experience for the exam. Now, if you're wondering what the passing score is, CompTIA's scoring range is 100 to 900 for all of their exams. And this one is one of the more hefty ones when you look at their core foundation. This is a 750 uh, from a 100 to 900 scale. Let's take a few minutes and dive into what some of the exam details are, and more specifically, what are some of the domains? How does the exam break down? 
Well, you'll see it breaks down to these five domains. The first one is 24% of your, uh, of your overall uh, objective breakdown, and that's going to be attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities. And we'll look at things like threat actors, attack vectors. We'll look at some of the vulnerabilities, whether it's hardware, software, physical infrastructure. We'll look at that, and that's domain one. That makes up 24% of your overall exam breakdown. The second domain, domain two, is going to be architecture and design, and that makes up 21% of the exam um, totality, if you will. The third domain is going to be implementation, not only the identification of the technology and the concepts, but how do we apply those in, the, uh, in, in a corporate environment. We'll also look at things like operations and incident response as well. We'll talk about things like uh, uh, business continuity best practices. We'll talk about redundancy, operational resiliency, and you can see that that's going to make up 16% uh, of the overall exam. And the last one kind of brings us back to some of the things that these skills, once you pass this exam, will validate. We talked about applicable laws, compliance, and risk, if you will, uh, and just general principles of government. A governance. That's where the last domain comes in, and that's government uh, governance, risk, and compliance. That's domain 5.0, and that makes up 14% of the overall exam. That's 100% of what you can expect to see when it comes to the SY0601 exam. So I'm excited. We hope you're excited. Check us out at IT Pro TV if you're ready to sit for your Security Plus exam.